When the weather turns cool and the thermometer approaches 32 degrees, it's time to get your trail boss ready for winter. If the tanks and water lines in the coach freeze up, considerable damage can result. So let's get started. There are four basic components in our water system. The water heater, the lines themselves, the water pump, and the tanks. The main idea is to get all the water out of the unit. We're on the outside of the unit now and ready to empty the water heater. A couple of things must be done before you can do this. One, you must turn the pump off and relieve the pressure inside the unit. The water heater switch must be in the off position and enough time must have gone by to let the water cool down. Now to check either one of those two, there's a release valve on the top of the heater. Pull this out and let it face straight out and if there's any pressure or water, it will evacuate down and away from you. To drain the tank, there's a nut on the end. You'll need an inch and an eighth socket to take the nut off to release the water. This is not only a plug to the water heater, but attached to it is an anode rod. The anode is very important as it collects impurities in the water to keep them from damaging the interior of the water heater. Every time you winterize, you want to inspect the anode for damage, and if it has a lot of erosion, you want to get it replaced. They're available at any RV store. So if it looks good and the water's drained out, put this back in and then tighten it up. Now we're ready to go back inside of the unit. Now that we've drained the water heater on the outside of the unit, the fresh water tank is drained by simply turning on this valve located at the end of the fresh water tank. A couple of things before we start that. First, we don't want to have antifreeze go into the hot water tank. So there's a bypass valve on every water heater. Locate the brass valve on the bottom inlet of the water heater. Turn it to the 3 o'clock position to bypass the tank. Now we can start putting RV antifreeze into the system. Most RV stores have RV antifreeze and you'll want to make sure it's pink. It'll take approximately two gallons to fill your unit. Your trail boss will be equipped with an RV antifreeze pickup hose. It'll be similar to this and it'll be located between the fresh water tank and the pump. We're going to show you how to use that pickup hose now. The first thing to do is to turn the diverter valve towards the direction of the pickup tube. You can then pull the hose out and put it into the gallon of antifreeze. Turn the pump on. Now you'll hear the pump pick up the antifreeze. It'll make a deeper sound. Then you can turn on each of your faucets and run your toilet until you see antifreeze come out. After you're done with it coming through the faucets, you can take the extra antifreeze out of your jug and pour the remainder into your sink and shower pan. You're now set for the long hard winter. 